Hello students, come on we'll continue the problems of process costing. So far we have completed 14 problems on process costing. So if you have watched all the earlier problems, now you are in a good position to get a good command on the topic of process costing. So earlier we have completed unit and output costing, job cost costing, contract costing. Now this is at the final stage of process costing problems. So hope everybody have got the hard copy print out of the problems from the link which I have given in the under the description. So if you are the new, <clears throat> if the if you are the new viewer, please take a print out of the problems and keep it ready before watching the video. So now I'm reading out the fifteenth problem. The following details are extracted from the cost records of an oil mill for the year ended thirty first March nineteen eighty two. It's an oil mill. The data is collected. Purchase of 5,400 tons of coconut for rupees 2 lakh 20 thousand. So it's an oil mill. So raw material purchased is coconut. So 5,400 tons of coconut are purchased at a cost of rupees 2 lakh 20 thousand. Now, now there are three processes: crushing, refining, and finishing. The data is given cost of labor for all the three processes: electricity sundry stores, repairs to machinery, steam, factory expenses, cost of casks. These are all the expenditure given for all the three processes. So all these things will take it on the debit side of process account. Now 3200 tons of crude oil were produced. Crude oil will be produced from crushing first process. The so first process crushing, second process refining, third process finishing. So crude oil will be produced from the first process crushing. So this output is this 3200 is the output of crushing process. Then 2600 tons of oil were produced by the refining process. Second process. Second process is refining. So output of refining process is given and 2550 tons of refined oil were finished for delivery. So finishing process ka output. That is 2550. So we are given the output of crushing process, output of refining process, and output of finishing process. Coconut sacks sold. Coconut sacks. Sacks means bags. A bag in which all coconuts are put. That is coconut sack. And coconut sacks sold for rupees 440. It's an income. Actually, coconut will be consumed in the first process crushing. Crushing process mein coconut use ho to coconut se jo bhi income rahengi, it will be credited to crushing process account. So sale of coconut sacks is an income. It should be taken to the credit side of crushing process. 1925 tons of coconut residue sold for rupees 12,100. Coconut residue sold. Again, it's an income. When, when we crush the coconut, we'll get the oil and well, as well as residue. The oil will be used for furning, further refining, finishing, but coconut residue will be sold there itself. So sale proceed received from coconut residue is 12,100. And how many tons? 1,925. So sale of coconut sacks and sale of coconut residue, both are incomes in the crushing process. Both should be taken on the credit side. Now loss in weight in crushing 275 tons loss in weight normally in a process industry the output and input will not be equal the output will be less than input because there will be loss in the processing so there is a loss in weight in crushing process so this loss in weight is a normal loss it will take on the credit side of crushing process account loss in weight 275 tons 500 tons of byproducts obtained from refining process rupees 7425 some byproducts are sold in the refining process so it's an income so refining process make income as sale of byproduct how many tons 500 tons and amount realized 7425 you are required to show the accounts in respect of each of the following stages of manufacture for the purpose of arriving at the cost per ton at of each stage and total cost per ton of the finished oil. Simply you are required to make the three process account, crushing process account, refining process account, finishing process account. 
in each process we want what is the cost per ton at each stage and finally what is the cost per ton of the finished product finished oil that's it now comparatively it's very easy previous two three problems were very very difficult now this problem is very easy see crushing process account debit side to purchase of coconut 5400 tons of coconut was purchased for rupees 2 lakh 20 thousand then cost of labor electricity sundry stores repairs to machinery steam factory expense all expenses are taken on the debit side respective amount now credit side by sale of coconut sacks just now i have explained you the income sale of coconut sack is an income it will be taken 440 days coconut residue sold again coconut residue sold is an income in the crushing process so by sale of coconut residue 1925 tons amount realized 12,100 it is also given loss in weight in crushing it is specifically given loss in weight in crushing so by loss in weight 275 tons are lost no income right so it's a normal loss now refining process how much is the output produced output produced the crude oil produced is 3200 tons given in the problem in the problem it is specified 3200 tons of crude oil were produced by the crushing process the, uh, this uh, crude oil will be transferred to refining process the output of crushing will become input of refining process so by refining process account output transferred 3200 now take the total of the debit side you are getting 2,25,940 from 2,25,940 subtract minus 440 minus 12,100 balancing figure 2,13,400 this is the value of the output now this 2,13,400 divided by 3200 per ton the per ton cost comes to 66.69 66.69 rupees is the cost per ton during the first stage now we are in the second stage refining process input how many tons of input are coming from crushing process 3200 so to crushing account 3200 tons 2,13,400 yeah input okay. then cost of labor electricity sundry stores repairs to machines steam factory all the expenses which are given in the problem i have taken on the debit side no credit side sale of byproduct in the problem it is given sale of byproduct in refining process is 500 tons amount realized 7425 this is given in the problem now output is given the output of this refining process will go to finishing so by finishing process account 2600 2600 given nothing is given regarding loss in weight so we come to know that out of 3200 500 units are lost 500 units are lost uh, 500 units are sold sale of byproduct so 3200 minus 500 2700 if minus kar diye, 3200 500 nikal diye, to you must get 2700 but in the problem it is given the output 2600 so what is that is not given in the problem so we assume it is loss in weight loss in weight again i repeat 3200 minus 500 you must get an output of 2700 but in the problem it is given the output is 2600 so what had happened to the 100 tons that is loss in weight balancing figure just like here loss in weight is given loss in weight in crushing process given but loss in weight in refining process not given so we have taken the balancing figure now take the total on the debit side 2,18,680 3200 3200 now we got 2 lakh 18680 minus 7425 balancing figure is 2 lakh 11255 divided by 2600 per ton 81.25 this is the refining process now we are in the last stage finishing process account input to refining account 2600 2 lakh 11255 come here the output of refining will become input of finishing then cost of labor, electricity, repairs to machinery, steam, factory expense, cost of cask. All the debit, all the expenses we have taken on the debit side. Now, there is no other income. Koi bhi income yaha par nahi diya, finishing process. Output is given. The finished oil produced is 2,550 tons. Now see, how much is the input here? 2,600 tons. 
जो इनपुट आया 2600 टन्स आया लेकिन आउटपुट जो हो रहा है वो 2550 टन्स गिवन इन द प्रॉब्लम सो व्हाट हैड हैपन टू द रिमेनिंग 50 टन्स दैट 50 टन इज लॉस इन वेट द रिमेनिंग 50 टन इज लॉस इन वेट बैलेंसिंग फिगर इट इज नॉट गिवन इन द प्रॉब्लम बट वी कम टू द कंक्लूजन व्हेन इनपुट इज 2600 आउटपुट इज 2550 देन व्हाट हैड हैपन टू द रिमेनिंग 50 टन्स दैट इज लॉस इन वेट बैलेंसिंग फिगर Now take the total on the debit side, two lakh twenty-two three ten, two lakh twenty-two three ten balancing figure. Now divide three two lakh twenty-two three ten divided by two thousand five fifty. Eighty-seven point one eight is the cost per ton. That's it. So this is the end of problem number fifteen. Now we start the next problem, problem number sixteen. Now problem sixteen is exactly similar to problem number fifteen. Just know what we have done. Exactly same. Now, an oil producing company maintains three processes. It introduced a 600 kilogram of coconut worth rupees 6000 in the crushing process. So again, we have three processes: crushing process, refining process, finishing process. So in the crushing process, the main raw material is purchase of coconut. So how much? 600 kilogram. And amount is six thousand. The other expenditure are labor, power, steam, sundry material, factory expenses. All these expenses should be taken to the debit side of the respective process accounts. Then crude oil produced four hundred kilogram. Crude oil will be produced by the first process crushing. So crushing ka output, crushing process ka output four hundred kilogram. Refined oil produced to three hundred kilogram. This is the output of refining process and finished oil produced 280 kg this is the output of the finishing process cost of drums 2000 then coconut sack sold 1000 this coconut sack sold is an income it will be taken on the credit side of first process crushing then copra residue 170 kg sold for rupees 500 this coconut residue is sold So where the coconut has been consumed, the first coconut has been consumed in the crushing process. So crushing process, there are two incomes. Okay, one income sale of coconut sack. Second sale of coconut residue. Both will be credit side. Like now, how many kilogram uh, coconut residue? One seventy kilogram. So in units column, one seventy sold for rupees five hundred. And by products in refining process. तो सेल ऑफ बाय प्रोडक्ट इन द रिफाइनिंग प्रोसेस तो रिफाइनिंग प्रोसेस में भी एक इनकम क्रेडिट साइड बाय सेल ऑफ बाय प्रोडक्ट 75 किलोग्राम सोल्ड फॉर रुपीस 40 तो 75 किलोग्राम इन क्वांटिटी एंड 40 रुपीस इज द वैल्यू सेल ऑफ बाय प्रोडक्ट देन प्रिपेयर द प्रोसेस अकाउंट्स दैट्स ऑल सो एग्जैक्टली सिमिलर सो क्रशिंग प्रोसेस अकाउंट डेबिट साइड टू परचेज ऑफ कोकोनट 600 किलोग्राम 6000 रुपीस Then take all expenditure, labor, power, steam, sundry material, factory expense, whatever is given in the problem. We have taken all expense debit side. Take the total credit side by sale of coconut sack. Coconut sacks bags sold for rupees one thousand. Only in amount column, no, not in quantity column. Then sale of residue. Some coconut residue was sold one seventy kilogram, and it is sold for rupees five hundred. Given in the problem. तो क्वांटिटी भी दिया है अमाउंट भी दिया है एंड रिफाइनिंग प्रोसेस हाउ मच इज द आउटपुट गिवन द आउटपुट इज गिवन 400 नाउ सी इनपुट इज 600 वेयर एज द रेसिड्यू सोल्ड इज 170 तो 600 में से 170 माइनस कर दो यू विल गेट 430 430 निकलना चाहिए 600 माइनस 170 यू शुड गेट 430 बट इन द प्रॉब्लम इट इज गिवन 400 ओनली Problem it is given 400 only. So what had happened to the remaining 30 kilogram? That is assumed as loss in weight. Problem is specified in here. It is not specified in the problem. But by seeing this process account, we can easily judge. We can come to the conclusion that out of 600, 175, 170 is the coconut residue sold. So 600 minus 170, you should get 430. But instead of 430, it is given the problem only 400 is produced. So remaining 30 loss in weight balancing figure. Now take the total on the debit side 9,700 from 9,700 minus 1,000 minus 500. So balancing figure is 8,200.
This is the value of output in the crushing process. 8200 divided by 400, you will get 20.50 per kilogram. This is the cost of output in the first process crushing. Now we come to the second process refining. The output of crushing will become input for refining. So two crushing account 400, 8200, the same thing. Then power, labor, steam, sundry material, factory expense, all items we have taken on the debit side. Credit side, there is one income, sale of byproduct, it is given in the power. By sale of byproduct, 75 kilograms byproduct was sold for rupees 40. So 75 kilograms, 40 rupees. Now output, the finishing process account, the output in the refining process is given 300. Now see here, input was 400. <coughs> The input was 400. Out of 400, how much is the byproduct sold? 75. So 400 minus 75, you should get 325. 400 minus 75, you should get 325. But instead, it, it is given 300 only. So remaining 25 kilograms is the loss in weight, not given in the problem. We have assumed. So balancing figure 25 kilogram loss in weight. Now take the total on the debit side, 10,800. 10,800 minus 40, 10,760 divided by 300, 35.87 is the cost per kilogram, refining process. Now I am coming to the finishing process. So debit side to refining process 300, 10,760. Take all the labor, power, steam, sundry material, factory expense, cost of drums. In some cases what they have done is, cost of drums is not taken in finishing process. Another account is open, finished product account. In that finished product account, this cost of dumps has been taken in some of the uh, textbooks. But I have taken it here itself. Why to prepare finished to stock account? In finishing process account only, cost of dumps 2000. The total cost comes to 14,300. Now credit side, loss in weight. Input is 300. Input is 300 kilogram. But output is given the problem as 280. The output of finished oil is given 280. Instead of 300, 280, we are getting the order happened to the remaining 20 kilograms. It is loss in weight. Loss in weight balancing figure. Now take the total on the debit side, 14,310. 14,310 divided by 280, 51.11 per kilogram. That's all. This is the end of problem number 16.